Hello everybody, I am back just about an hour after I made the last video saying hopefully my stuff for ABBA will be arriving today. It showed up from FedEx, direct from the ABBA official store, everything I got for ABBA's new album, Voyage, the first album in just about 40 years. Crazy surprise, really just came out of nowhere and unbelievably exciting because ABBA is my favorite overall band. Uh, certain bands that I've loved throughout certain periods of my life, you know, during my teenage years, I loved like No Doubt and a whole bunch of other bands. One that has just stayed a favorite and has become my absolute favorite as a band is ABBA. Very individual singer is George Michael as a band, ABBA. Amazing. I can't believe this is out. This is the first thing. I have a couple things to show off. I have always been a big music listener, I would say, but never a huge music collector. I have a decent collection of CDs and things, and some vinyl, not a whole lot, and I also grew up with cassettes moving into CDs, but as I've been getting into collecting my favorite music, as it's been you know, many, many years from watching the stuff on MTV or listening on the radio, I've never supported an album the way I have Voyage, because I just, I love ABBA, and it's just such an exciting experience to be a part of this coming out. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up here while I talk a little bit. And my first impressions just from the first couple singles that they released, which are both on side A here, I have I Still Have Faith in You and Don't Shut Me Down. Those are the first two. I didn't listen to any of the other ones as they were coming out. I want to save it for listening to the whole album, but those two I listened to. And both of them were such classic ABBA without feeling dated. There's a timeless quality to both of those ones. And they both were lyrically and musically so emotional and meaningful and really expressed both with I Still Have Faith in You, more the personal journey of the band members and you know coming to this point and releasing this and then don't shut me down is a, is a two-part thing it has it's a little bit of a story of its own and a personal expression and then it's also talking directly to the fans and you know what to experience in the, this new version and you know it's it's I'm then and now combined and that sort of thing Here's the front of the album, the track listing on the back, and go ahead and pull out the inner portion here. We have all the lyrics and the album itself, just beautiful, and that's the, the standard release. We have an insert in here as well. We have an exclusive postcard, and an exclusive poster for Voyage. It's a fold out you know, poster sheet. Just it's so fascinating and amazing they're coming back. So that is that standard release. And I'll finish off with the other vinyl then as well since this is here. I ordered that and the vinyl picture disc, which this one I'm gonna keep sealed for now. Let's see if I can get a little bit less glare on there. Pull it back a bit, but And I'll add some close-up pictures at the end as well to get a closer look because these are glaring like crazy. Uh, beautiful. It has the all four band members as their avatars. They are doing this big technology-driven concert where they did motion capture and went through a whole concert of all the, the new songs. And then they're being portrayed as late 70s versions of themselves, like Abbott in their prime, doing the concert. So it's their movements, and it's their voices now singing the songs, but what you'd see on stage in sort of like a Hatsune Miku, like projection style, would be this um, avatar version of themselves in the prime doing that. And that'd be really cool if that came to something like Blu-ray or whatever once that concert is done, to, to be able to see that in full. That would be really cool. But this is a cover. Again, I'll put close-up pictures of stuff at the end as well. Um, has all four of them in their versions and they also released uh, before i get to the individual cd release you could get on cd or cassette or all these different ones if you were a big collector like crazy you could get four different covers of the cd release because you could get benny and bjorn and anna fried and agneta and i you know went with my favorite 
and uh, just really, really cool. So Agnetha is my favorite overall, so I went with her now for the individual CD release. And then this what box I'm going to go ahead and open here, ABBA Voyage. This is really cool. This was the first thing that caught my eye, wanting just a standard version of the CD release. Open that up. It's a nice big box. Open this top. And right inside on top we have the standard CD release, a standard CD version of the Voyage. And pull that off the top. We have underneath an ABBA t-shirt. And there are a couple different designs for ABBA shirts that you could get, and this is one that came with the box set here, the nice box with the CD release. So a couple different ones, that one's specific for this box set with Voyage, and the CD single of Don't Shut Me Down. They released a couple different uh, singles, and this is one that I wanted to grab, because that song, that song is what made me excited. I was interested when I first heard they were doing it and just like within the song it just like a little bit confused a little bit like like what, what's happening and what to expect and that by itself was the first one that I heard and that told me everything. It told me why it was happening, what to expect from it, what's it gonna be like, what's it gonna mean, is it ABBA the way they were, is it something totally different, it's no it's both together in this really cool new form and incredible. Uh, just I, It blew me away the first time I heard it really brought me to tears and that was one of the few times I actually looked at uh, reaction video type things on YouTube which I, I pretty much never do. It's just not really something I care about but that I just wanted to see other people's reactions and I saw so many you know just visceral reactions, emotional reactions to that song and you know feeling the same way I did that like wow this is powerful and incredible and that alone was like, all right, I know I'm going to love this and I will regret it if I don't support it like hardcore right as it's coming out because I knew if I'm going to love it that much. And so that's why I went ahead and amazing. I'm going to sit down and enjoy. As I said, I only listened to those first two singles because I wanted to go in fresh to the rest of the album and it includes like one song that was actually from the 70s that was never put out before as well and then a whole bunch of new content as well so it, it's going to be an incredible experience I, I can't wait to sit down and go through this whole thing it looks amazing I, I, I'm super excited I can't believe it it's shocking how ABBA is coming back after so long and is so good just right back on right on track and I'll see how this fits in with the rest of their albums, how much I like them, because uh, I actually like their last album the most, which is, I think, the least popular one overall. It's a little more different, a little more mature, a little less pop, and I feel like that's probably why it wasn't as uh, popular overall. That ends up being my favorite. So yeah, The Visitors is my favorite album of theirs, and The Day Before You Came is my favorite song overall of theirs. So we'll see where this fits in. I'm just very, very excited. And as I said before, I'm going to go ahead and put some more close-up, more clear shots of the, the different releases now that, you know, get rid of some of the glare and that kind of thing. I'm just hyped and super excited. Very, very happy, and it's still shocking that this is even a thing. 